So for today, we're going to be doing the last call. If you guys don't know, we usually look at the end of the week for 801, Banshee, Zer, and Eververse in that order. So that way you guys are aware of what's going away. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you guys think. Other than that, let's look at the fit for the video. So this one is something I've made before. It's just a uh, girl falcon with the like under, under sea, with the underwater like uh, ornament, the pressure stabilizer. And this one, obviously I'm going for an underwater look. I really wish this cloak didn't have this like the cloak and it was just this metal part because that would be really cool another thing you could do if you didn't want a cloak because again it w i think it looks cool without cloth would be to go for this one and now you don't have anything if you don't have this one because this is a season pass ornament then the best one's going to be this one because you do still have a scarf but it's better actually i think there's another one um, I might be wrong. I'm pretty sure there's another cloak that that doesn't look bad either, but I'm not a fan of that cloak. Um, yeah, I guess that's the only one. Uh, if there is another cloak that is like the season pass ornament where if you take it off, you take all of it off, then let me know in the comments, but I just don't remember. Uh, cause that's the one I always use. So that's why I'm like, uh, is there another one? To be fair, you would still have to buy the helmet ornament. So, yeah, I don't think I don't think there is another one. I think this is the only one that does this. But again, let me know in the comments if there is another one because I am shooting a blank right now. So, yeah, that is this is pretty much the fit. Let me know what you guys think. And oh, for the shader, I should probably royal treatment is what I'm using just because uh, the purple on Omni Oculus mask doesn't change. So. Might as well just put purple in there. So 801, let's talk about 801. So Vitrified Duality, let's talk about this one. So I love this shader. It's a really good purple. Unfortunately, you can't see, well, I say purple, but the glow specifically, you can see it here in the eye and then right here. It's a really good purple, surprisingly not in the helmet. That's pretty cool, but this actually doesn't look bad. The only thing I would switch out is the cloth right here. I think this looks pretty terrible, but like this actually looks decent. We have a New Pacific Sync, which I definitely would recommend because it's vanilla Destiny 2 and a very rare, sh or sh yeah, very rare shader at that because this shader wasn't sold during that time. This, this is relatively new, um, at least that's what I think because I never owned them and I played the shit out of vanilla Destiny 2. War Call Terrain. Honestly, it's just the red that I'm not a fan of. The yellow is fine with the blue. I think that's a cool combo. Um, but yeah, as for, well, the armor, it's not armor. It's the scorn Baron vest and the knee Neothonus breather for the hunters. Let me go to the collection. So that way I can show you guys, um, it should be in world and should be the last page. I think, nope, they're here. So this, these three are for the hunters, for the Titans. It's going to be the like Wakanda forever helmet the scorn baron plate and then the memory of Cade for the warlocks it's gonna be this iman tin ritual mask it looks terrible scorn baron robes i think this is the best robes that the warlocks have i think it's amazing and memory of Cade. so if you guys want to see me talk about it more in depth check out the weekly video the beginning of the week video that one i talk about it a little bit more but needless to say if you want scorn stuff Pick the chest pieces for all the classes. I think all of them are really cool. The helmets, aside from the Titan, are all terrible. And I think the memory of Cade stuff, I would pick it up just because of Cade. That being said, I think the Titans have the best memory of Cade uh, class item. I think it's just amazing. And these two, honestly, I would ignore these. But if you don't have all of the armor sets and you want to complete them, might as well do it. Legendary shards are going away. So if you have legendary shards, just start killing them. But yeah, let me know what you guys are going to be picking up for Mato 1. As for Banshee, he's selling the Lunar Lotta 4B with no distractions and headst headstone. Timelines Vertex with Left from Gold and Snapshot Sights. Velpicula with Tunnel Vision and Harmony. Disparity with Pugilist and Headstone. And then Bump in the Night with Stats for All and Vorp Weapon. So just to remind you, these two are Red Border Weapons. And I would probably ignore all of this stuff. Like all of the... Honestly, all of it I would ignore except these two because they're Red Border Weapons. Because like... This is not a good roll. I don't care about this roll. And this one, 
if it didn't have no distractions, I would probably pick it up just because headstone's really nice in PvE and PvP. But yeah, let me know what you guys are gonna be picking up from Banshee. This is Sunday the 28th. So make sure you go pick some of these up if you want them. As for Zur, he's in the hangar in the tower currently selling the Titan planetary armor. So I love this armor. I think a lot of it is really, really cool. Hunters, I think the helmet is worth a pickup for sure. I think the boots are cool. I think the arms and chest piece are definitely usable. And I think the cloak is pretty cool. Uh, Titans, let me actually go to collections because uh, I'm sh shooting a blank right now. I'm, I'm trying to remember. All right. So Titans, I think the helmet is worth picking up. I think the boots are amazing. I think the arms and chest piece are decent. They're not trash, but I definitely can see myself using them at one point. And I think the mark is definitely pretty terrible. But at the same time, it looks cool. Uh, Warlocks. Helmet is super dope. I think the boots are pretty... They're good if you want to go for a soldier look, but I promise you there's so many other boots that have this same look. Specifically, like, Wildwood Suit also has those boots, so just be aware of that. I think the chest piece and arms are interesting, and I think the bond is kind of whatever. So, let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. I definitely think some of these pieces are worth a pickup, specifically, again, like I said, helmet for the, time, for the hunters. I think helmet for everyone, honestly, needs to be picked up. I think the boots for the titans are amazing i think the chest pieces are interesting as well if you want to go for like a space looking thing i guess to be fair this whole thing is very much a space look for me even though it's most likely like a subnautical type thing but let me know what you guys are going to be picking up as for the rolls i'll have them up right here um yeah i don't really want to reiterate what I always say, but basically this is starter armor. If you want to get better armor, go do the dungeons because the dungeons is where you're going to be finding the artifice armors and the artifice armors is literally the best armor in the game because it it, it is. I, I'm not wrong. So yeah. As for the weapons, let's talk about true prophecy, grave robber and rampage, whatever. Chroma rush with feel, feeding frenzy and adrenaline junkie. Chrysura, Mello, Ensemble and Demo, Judgment of Kelgaroth, Unmovable Objects Surrounded, Ikelos SR, Moving Target and High Impact Reserves, Seven Seraph Saw with Grave Robber and Firing Line, and then Interference uh, 4 or 5, 6, I don't remember, uh, Field Prep with Swashbuckler. So just be aware that these two weapons are red border weapons, and that's it. Yeah. For the exotic, we have Hawkman with Rangefinder, and then Lord of Wolves. Man, let me tell y'all, when this gun was broken, like, three times, in, I still have recordings of, uh, <clears throat> I think, I, yeah, I still have one of the record. actually, I can put it up right now, it's super short anyways. So yeah, like, this gun used to be so busted, um... I don't know about now, but damn, dude, like, I remember people hated this gun. People, like, ugh, good times. They were fun. Um, knucklehead Radar with, damn, Mobility in 19 is pretty nice if you're going for a dodge uh, build, which if you're a hunter, you usually are. Uh, recovery is pretty trash. <sighs> but uh, I would probably recommend it still. Uh, Turner Warrior with, it's okay. Uh, intellect at 20 is pretty nice. Strength, strength is uh, uh, strength at 11 is pretty nice. I would probably bump up that resilience to a plus 10. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. And then Ophidian aspect with too high mobility. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from Zer. I definitely would recommend some pieces from the Titan stuff. Stompies, really? Okay, cool. Thanks, I guess. Um, but yeah. As for Eververse, we have the Meditator Shader not a fan of this color yeah no nah. we have gloom strife this doesn't look terrible actually i would probably just switch out the helmet uh for transmat effects we have vitreous entrance and then necrosis for the recluse i love this ornament it's like super super cool yeah, definitely get it. And then Sparrow Getaway. Uh, 
And then for the stuff at the bottom, we have the business end, which I'm still thinking about getting because this is a cabal themed one, which looks fucking cool. I kind of wish they switched out the uh, this or eh, yeah, whatever. We have a pinballer. Synchrotron Advancer Firebreak Shell Trap Setting And then the Virulent Mask for the Hunters I definitely will go and show you the armor sets Because I didn't do it last time Ossified Entrance AI Calm, Rasputin Reboot, that's what I assume that's called, or what it's trying to say. Vex Invasion Effects, which I should pick this one up. Wait, I probably have this. Yeah, I have that. Uh, Growing Guilt. Eh. Boreal Char, which I definitely would recommend. I know there's white in there, but if you combine it with certain armor pieces, it looks amazing. Neopop Wave. <clears throat> this doesn't look bad. I've, you know, my own, my only issue, this is like the issue I've had with the shader for since forever. It's just the pink. I think the pink is like really bad with this uh, color. Like it's not a good combo. And then Celestial Dome. This looks super cool. Wow. Wow. I might actually switch this out. This looks really cool. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. Let's actually go see the armor that I've... <laughs> was gonna show you here so here's the hunters it's really cool just be aware that the anything that you see that says viced doesn't change color so yeah that's really annoying the helmet and the chest piece are the only pieces that don't have vice pieces that being said i love the boots the boots are amazing especially if you go for like a very disheveled like asymmetric look it looks really cool just be aware that you're gonna have to shade her into the vice or you can ignore it if you want um <clears throat> and then for the titans and warlocks i should i should show you guys though let me i'll be right back titans you guys have future facing titan bundle which yeah like it looks cool so there's pieces that i can definitely use i think i've used the arms i've definitely used the boots the helmet i've used as well i think i've used everything but the mark specifically because the mark i just got this season because they were selling it for bright dust and i did not want to spend it for silver because again i'm not a fan of that of the mark but like i've used every piece specifically the boots i've used a lot more than anything else but like it's one of those things where you have to find something that looks good with it because it you you can't just like throw it on something it's gonna be amazing you have to really make it look good and then warlocks you guys got the wrath trail warlock bundle i love this this ornament or like all of it i think all of it is amazing there is no bad piece in this set um i think if we want to be tech like not technical but if you want to be like if you wanted to ask me like what is the worst piece in your opinion it would be the arms for sure i think the arms are not as great as everything else just because like <sighs> it's leather i know it's leather but it doesn't look like leather it looks more like like when you when you look at it from afar it looks it doesn't look like leather it looks like plastic almost so i would have almost have giving it much more of a leather look i probably would have taken this off because this m gives it more of a plastic look or more of a gold, like a metal look and <clears throat> i don't know i definitely just would take this off because i don't think it needs it especially if you're going for a cowboy look i don't this looks kind of like off for a cowboy um if you wanted to do a cowboy look you could you could have probably just had like a like an ammo belt of like specifically uh, uh revolver rounds i think that would have been way better not for both arms, but for like one of them, and then the other one could have had like something else. Maybe like, maybe like this arm right here. Let me show you real quick. I know this is like the video has been done, so if you guys want to leave it later, I appreciate y'all coming to this point. But um, adonde esta la biblioteca? Where is this piece actually? I um. Wait a minute, is it not an ornament? I'm pretty sure it's an ornament. It's not one of my favorites, but yeah, it's right here. You could have done the arm like this one right here. Not not this one, that one right there. You could have done it for that one, and I think it would have been better. 
because it's like yeah like see it's like a like yeah so i think that would have been better but yeah let me know what you guys think i have a few things planned so first and foremost i am still not done with getting this stupid armor i still have two pieces to go tro and i have 22 trophies of bravery so i'm missing the warlock pieces actually so let me show you guys real quick so seasons and <laughs> so i'm probably gonna get the helmet first because then I'll, i only have t uh 40 more which only but uh the reason i still don't have this done is because i i've taken a break off of destiny 2 i've been playing a game called rift breaker it's so much fun so much fun and yeah i've taken a little break off of destiny just because again i uh, kind of burned myself out from onslaught which is the best way to get trophies of bravery but i'm probably gonna get on that bryant grind uh probably starting tomorrow so i can get the arm this armor done i also thought about it like not not too long ago but because this armor is being sold i should make a video on it like showcasing it and everything because uh i honestly didn't even know i don't know why i didn't think to be fair i had a lot in my mind specifically like my getting a second job calling or putting my two weeks for my act my first job which was vans which is still hurts um going full-time with my now main job and yeah, I just had so much time on my head or so much things in my head that I didn't have time to think about. Well, Wraith, the the uh, Foundry armor sets are being sold, so you might as well make a, a video on it. So I probably will be making a video on this. I'll probably start doing it today. Um, so that way you guys can have some videos during the weekend, even though you guys don't need it because apparently my channel is doing super, super good right now, even though I'm not posting as much as I used to, which is hilarious to me because <laughs> now I'm like, okay, well, now that I'm not trying as hard as I used to, now the channel's really popping. Not that I'm complaining. Uh, I'm happy that it's happening. <clears throat> but I do have all of the tactical sets uh, uploaded already. I just need to make a schedule for them. There's pro they're probably going to come out sometime this week. Um, and then, like I said, I'm probably going to be posting the videos for... Oh, what's it called? <laughs> uh, for the armor sets, the foundry whip or armor so that way you guys can see what you guys are getting into if you guys want to get that armor because i do think the armor is worth it um for some classes i think the titans it's, it's a hard case to to place for them but the warlocks and the hunters i think are worth it the titans i just think have the weakest set but i still think it's cool and from there i think we're getting another armor set if i remember correctly if not then that's fine if we are getting another armor set from the back stock then i will definitely make a video on it so that way you guys can be aware of how the armor looks but let me know what you guys think if you guys want to see some other content let me know in the comments below i'm still working well i shouldn't say working but i still want to do other content or other fashion for other games it's just that i don't have a lot of time now and honestly just getting this onslaught armor has been taking so so long more time than i'd rather it have be taking so let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. Be safe. I will see you guys later.